Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, your insurance agency, the sponsors of this segment, has some tips on saving money while selecting your annual health plan. I stopped by to learn more. We are back here at your insurance agency. Chris, we're talking tips to saving money for your annual health plan, right? Correct. And one of the things that's unusual is where we start is really with money, what, what our income is. So why I mentioned income is because insurance is expensive and based on our income there could be resources to help you offset or help you pay for your insurance premiums. So whether you're under 65 and you're on, on an individual family plan, there could be tax credits available to help you pay for your insurance. Or if you have insurance through your employer, you obviously could have, there could be resources there to help offset some of those costs or ideas that we may be able to bring to your attention. And for those that are over 65, we also have resources available from the federal government or state to help offset some of those fixed costs as well. Now, what about those people who apparently make too much? How do they save? That is a great question. For those that are high wage earners, there are programs that are there to help assist them offset some of those costs. So when you sit down with the broker, some of the things we have to determine, is it better staying with your current plan through your employer? Is it better to stay on the exchange where you get your tax credits? And or other resources there to help give you discounts. Sometimes we're able to bundle services that someone's looking for, such as dental, hearing, vision, and et cetera, that we can actually bundle and give extra discounts. So we do have solutions for high wage earners, but we also have solutions for everyone else. So we have the tax credits to the exchange now that doesn't phase out, which has been extended through a couple more years through 2025 where we can get tax credits, but also a new law that was just passed we call the family glitch. Now this is a new one, but basically what it means for those that have insurance through work and it's unaffordable, we may now be able to get tax credits for their family to get insured through our state exchange. So you seek a broker, and we can help with those solutions as well. And also one last tip is that if you're willing to take a smaller network of doctors to choose from, there's discounts with that too as well. Okay, now does all of this apply to life insurance too? Actually, yes. We do have life insurance that do have some extra health benefits on there. Our biggest tips for life insurance are the riders that can be added. So if you already have life insurance, look to see if you have some of those extra benefits such as long-term care, accidents, cancer, heart attack, extra benefits to help offset any of your medical expenses that you could have if you do become ill with your health insurance. Now, with all of that said, Chris, what is the most universal tip that I can use, people watching can use when it comes to health insurance? Use a knowledgeable broker. It's a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> a broker one. that has multiple lines of insurance mm -hmm. that doesn't just sell one thing. Right they can sit and have a conversation with you. And through that conversation, it's amazing what comes out and what people's needs are and that we can help solve their entire family's needs. Thanks to your insurance agency for sponsoring that segment. Call 702-425-5500 or just head to yianb.com for more information. We'll be right back.